All right, we are looking at uh, continuity and one-sided limits, and we're in this section right here. Working some calculus problems. Go to math and click on that. Okay, that's to subscribe if you want. All right, let's look at this here real quick. We got a piecewise function, and I wrote the function, this piecewise function, this way. This is not the traditional way to do that. When we get on to the whiteboard, I'll show you. We're looking for the limit of r of x as x approaches 3 from the right-hand side. So this plus means right-hand side. All right. Okay, and I don't know, we'll use this color here. So we had the piecewise function, and I'm going to go ahead and write it out how you'd normally see it. They put this big curly brace. We got uh, 3x and the domain is all x values greater than 3. I almost wrote something else there. And then we have x plus 1 and its domain is all values less than or equal to 3. All right. So this is a piecewise function and it's in pieces and traditionally this is the way you'll see it. And I guess I need to fiddle around with my HTML and get it to look like that. Okay, we got the uh, limit even though I might have a problem trying to find that. I mean I can find that but it's really big and bold. But Okay, never mind. 3 plus. Um, R of X. Okay, we're coming in from the right hand side, so let me sketch out. And you know what? I'm going to use a different color for the function here. Now, I'm going to just mark 3 here. We'll mark uh, 3 on the x axis. So we're coming in from the right hand side, right? So we're coming in from this direction. So whatever it is, it's going to be a graph on this, on this side of 3 that we're going to need to look at. So let's take a look at this. This says all x values greater than or equal to 3. Well, it sounds to me like this is what we need to focus in on right here then. Okay, but let's just graph it out. Just kind of put a 3 in here. Uh, we want to evaluate r of 3. Even though it says we can't use 3, I know what it says our domain has to be greater than 3, but we're just going to... Okay, so 3 times uh, 3 is 9, so we'll say that's up here. And of course, we got to put a hole here because it does not include 3, okay? And it has a slope of 3, so I don't know, we'll say the graph looks something like that. Now, let's just go ahead and graph this out. If we plug 3, now we can plug 3 into this one. Okay. Um, we can plug 3 into that. This is the one we can, so 3, 4. And uh, what did I say this was? This was uh, 9. Okay, and when we plug 3 into this, we get 4, so we're way down here. We're about here. I don't know, here. Okay. And, of course, we include 3, so we're going to fill that hole in right there. All right. And it crosses at 1, so it looks something like, let's say it looks something like that. So this is what our graph looks like. So coming in, the idea is we're wanting to find this. And so what you probably need to do is, um, You know, you normally just kind of plug numbers in until you get really, really close to 3, and you can kind of see, that's the numerical way, and kind of see where this thing is approaching, and as you can see, it's approaching 9 right here, and we'll just put put a 9 here. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, remember also that if this is true, Okay, if we know what this limit is right here, then we know that that, if, and if it's equal to 9, then we know that this must be also equal to 9. And I don't know, should we hit answer? Yeah. So there it is. Okay.